Hello. Hello, funny speak to you, Willie Fraser. Speaking. Willie, how you doing? My name's Clarence Beeks. I'm phoning on behalf of my uh, a colleague, Brian Stockbridge, financial advisor of Glasgow Rangers. I take it you're aware of him. All right, right. You know, you know, Brian how you Stockbridge. Doing? Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's a bit of a background noise, mate. Can you hear me okay? I sorry, how long I get into the car here? That's a bit better, hopefully. That's grand, mate. As I say, I'm, I'm phoning on behalf. I'm, I've been commissioned to do work. Uh, I'm phoning down in London. I've been asked. Uh, Brian Stockbridge is the fran- financial advisor for Glasgow Rangers. We've been asked uh, right. to, to contact you regarding something maybe you could help us with. Uh, a little bit of public relations exercise, if you, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, well, uh, what it's regarding is... Obviously, with this mob across the water, what they've done is they've got this deal. But we were wanting to maybe, uh, if, it's, if it's all right for yourself, uh, to get you along to Ibrox for... Uh, well, 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 this is on the QT. Obviously, you're a true blue yourself, Willie, aye? Oh, I'm a Ranger supporter, OK. Uh, well, I, I, was, I, was asked to, I was asked to come to you on the QT, so if you could keep this on the QT, Willie, the new, because I was just here to see... If it'd be possible. Sorry, well, what's your name again? My name's Clarence Beeks, and I'm working uh, uh, from Zeus Capital, uh, and I'm working with Brian Stockbridge, and I've been asked to do this off the record uh, before it goes through official channels. Uh, Willie, uh, right. what it was, what it was to ask for? Uh, well, it was, it was to ask for yourself if it was possible. I, I know you're with the 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 stuff with the flag protest, but what we were wanting to do to bring some. Uh, good news to the the Rangers fans uh, and, and to Scottish football. We were wondering if we could get you along to Ibrox to meet Charles Green and how we were going to play. We were going to try and do it last night, but things got tied up because we wanted to get a better spin on the media and the, and the Daily Record and the Sun from what they were going to do yesterday. But never mind, we were, we were a bit late in the game. I get a hold of you last night, Willie. Uh, but what, what, what it is, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to, if possible, get you along to Ibrox uh, for Charles Green to mastermind uh, peace talks for the, the flag issue. Now, what we're, what we're going to propose is for, because we've, we've already put in uh, a proposition to get a telecommunications mast. Now, if need be, Charles has already indicated he'll put it at the top of Ibrox. Now, this mast is going to be huge. I mean, it's, it, the, the only thing we're going to be worried about is we get permission because it might be on the flight path. But in this, in this uh, communications mass, we're going to be flying. We're going to be flying uh, the, the Union flag. And, so, and I'll tell you, uh, could you put that all a text and send it to me or an email, and we'll certainly reply to you. Well, no. What it was, a new belly. It was just to sound you out just now to see how you would feel. Regards to because uh, uh, well initially have, have you get any sway with the protesters? Could could you initially call it off for a day or two? Because what we would like to do is spin it so as that you know we can get our friends in the media to spin it. Charles Green brought peace to the streets of Belfast, even for a day. Could you keep the boy? Well, could you keep the lads off the street for a day or two? Well, I, I couldn't because it's not up to me. Uh, well, right, I, I thought you were the ringleader then, Willie. I thought you were the, wing, the, the ringleader. No, no, no. He, uh, this has been organised by every community and every town, village uh, themselves. Um, it's, it's, I have not. The only thing I'm doing has been asked to speak. Uh, unfortunately, I'm been asked to speak at a lot of the places. Uh, I need a helicopter. I'm not to get riding them all, but but uh, well, you know. Can- Never mind a helicopter, we'll fly a private jet over there. We just need you, we don't need you to yeah. even manage. If you're the spokesperson, Willie, that's why we've come to you. If you're the spokesperson, all we can use our friends in the media to spin it is that we are now in dialogue and we're trying to bring peace to the streets of Belfast. Now, if you can have it, we can get you over here at a shot. We can well, get if you're, you're, it's, we can certainly get you're if you're a genuine Rangers man, you would certainly be... Uh, 100% to bring peace, I know that for a fact. Well, we're, uh, we're, 
yeah, because and what, 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 what we're even thinking of doing is every day, 11 minutes past 11, having a ceremony of the flag on on outside the main bit. So if we get a, if we don't get permission, we're going to well the flag. We're going to do a ceremony of flag. We're to bring a pole and put it outside the front in Edmondson Drive. Why would you? If, just out of interest, why would you go for 11 minutes past 11? Just because of the, the well, if, if it was a better time, my friend, you can you can say it. But we couldn't get 1972 and the 24 hour clock. But if we could get uh, 1972 or 1872, we would put it in. But we can't. So we just thought the remembrance. And so we'll, in, any day, I, I mean, I'm I'm the spin doctor with uh, the, at the time we brought we brought Jim Trainer in. And now I was working for the media department, uh, but now we have brought in Jim Trainer to obviously give it a bit of finesse. But Daryl Green is serious, and we plans to do because he's wanting to show obviously the Rangers family in Northern Ireland and in Scotland that uh, you know we can help bring peace to the streets of Belfast and honour the flag. You know, we, we, we can fly the flag here and say you know we don't need it in Belfast Town Hall because you know Loyalists and, and, and the, the Ulster Scots we are here represented in Edmonton Drive so we can do a ceremony of flag every day you know and it'll be a beacon for the people in Northern Ireland and the people in Ulster, the people in Scotland and Glasgow, to see the ceremony of the flag, you know, and, and it'll be there every day, every day. So what, what we're thinking, and, and that's that, the whole thing, I, I know I know it seems a bit rushed now, but we're willing to get a plane over there, pick you up, get you here, for a, 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 even if you can't stop them for a night or an hour, just we can get the media here to spin it, Willie, but the, the media are good friends here, where we can spin it, that we could have charge. Green with yourself and and dialogue to stop. Well, to be honest with you, mate, to, to be to uh, I could do nothing in the first half unless the people uh, from the different areas are to give it the go ahead. Uh, well, 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 we don't want you to do anything. We just we just want you here as a spokesperson. Obviously, you're a spokesperson, and uh, as this was on the QT. Uh, uh, if it doesn't go anywhere, if, if you wouldn't mind, if you're not wanting to partake or go any further, Willie, but we would seriously like you to, uh, and, and also, uh, for, for Gracia, we'll be able to throw in a few uh, Gracia shares as well for you, for your for your own personal thing, well, because we feel we feel that... Well, uh, well if, you don't, if you don't mind, uh, no, uh, I'm happy enough for what you're saying, I don't have a problem, but if you don't mind, I'll just... Just to confirm, because obviously I've never spoken to you before, I really? will ring and speak to uh, that individual you mentioned there, because I do have his Brian number. Stockbridge. Brian Stockbridge, yes, he's a good man, he's a good man. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I come back to you on this number here. Right, you've got my number then, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's genuine, but, but we're here, uh, you can speak to Brian. Uh, Charles is wanting you to come over. Uh, as I say, if it can't be done vis-a-vis -vis getting a, a, you know... Well, better you get somebody else to go, you know. Uh, there's other people there. Because um, we have been asked, we've been asked to the States and actually asked out to a few other places. And we've been asked over to uh, London and to Manchester, Liverpool and Edinburgh. So uh, it's just it's nearly impossible to get to everywhere we've been asked in Northern yeah. Ireland, never mind. You haven't been asked uh, by the well, Glasgow Rangers not. before. Have you been asked by the Glasgow Rangers no. before, Willie? We can get you here. No, I haven't. Staircase. No. Marble Staircase, we have press opportunity with Charles Green saying that we support the issue for the flag. And Oh, certainly, we, yes. Uh, anybody that's supporting the issue is more than welcome. Uh, and we're, uh, we're than happy to get on, especially with Glasgow Rangers. Um, they've been a brilliant supporter of Unionist loyalist community here in Northern Ireland. Uh, the joy they've given to the people has been next to none. Even in the last year, it's been it's been bad times in the last year. But I hear what you're saying there, Willie. I hear what you're saying. Well, but there's I mean, a, bad times. You have to take the bad times with the good times. Exactly. Exactly. That's what makes a supporter, doesn't it, Willie? Yeah. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Listen, if you send me your, your contact details, text well, them through to me so I have them. Uh, it's just I'm actually going into a meeting here, so uh, and I, I, I'll speak to your man, because obviously I need to confirm who I'm talking to, because you get that many head cases ringing up. You better um, well, my name, if you, if you mention it, Clarence Beaks, Brian Stockbridge, you know him, 
Uh, and, and we've also, as a Gracia payment, we're willing to give you 20,000 shares because obviously, you know, it's, uh, that's kept there. We're, we're here to keep people on your side, Willie. So if you if you want to help well, us I out... Wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be interested in any shares of Adam, yet, to be honest with you. If you, if you want to give it, give it to the the, the People's Forum. Uh, certainly not to me. No, you wouldn't have been Just what I thought with the, 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 the extra stuff in the press with the, the 350,000. I thought you may be willing to take a wee backhander there, Willie. So, no, sorry for getting my, no. sorry for getting my wires crossed there. I thought you were maybe keen enough. No, that's, that's, a wee bit of that would be a Celtic supporter you're thinking of. Who's that? Who's that? Don't be mentioning that's, such stuff. Celtic here. supporters would be into that. <laughs> I don't think they would want to take shares in Rangers, you reckon? They, they, they'd have me lunch if I came to this game. Well, they hate having British, but they think the pound. Well, well, you got, what, what can you do? The Queen's shilling is Queen's shilling's good for everybody, isn't it? I mean, you can't, you can't be grudging. Yeah, Queen's certainly, shilling. Uh, certainly, uh, it's good enough for the Republicans, I know. Well, you, well, you, well, I suppose, I, I suppose. Listen, do, do that, I don't, I don't speak. I just, I have to go here. Yes, and well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, uh, and uh, okay. But, What's, if I get back to Brian just now, what's your, what's your thoughts? Is it is it more than fifty fifty? Do you reckon there's a chance because we're ready to go? If you if you if I know we've seen a bit forward, but you contact Brian, double check if everything's okay for myself. Uh, you got my details well, the, there. The, then. At the minute, I am up to my eyes with meetings I've committed myself to here, and we're, we are already going to Edinburgh and uh, Liverpool, and Manchester, and even Israel has invited us. And the United Israel. States, so yeah. Are Dublin? Are, uh, you, are you going to Dublin? Well, at the minute, well, that's the other thing. Uh, we could be going to Dublin on Friday night. Oh, but that tomorrow night? Yeah. And how do you think that's going to Hello, be? Going keep that, keep that under your hat. Uh, keep it under my hat. I'll keep it under my bowler hat. You're definitely, you better, you better believe it. But, so, but, 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 is it is it something on Friday night that's happening, or something on Saturday night, or Saturday during the day, well, or Saturday? We're working with the guards on it, you know, and the guards were very helpful. So uh, we said we didn't mind changing the time or the day. Uh, because as long as we got putting our point across, we were happy. So they've suggested maybe we can down on Friday night, taking everybody by surprise. So we'll see. But I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Is that, 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 that a guarder? Is that the Polish down there? Is that the one you're talking about? The, the guarder, I. Ah, uh, yeah, the guards, yeah. Right, so they're saying it's sort of Friday. Well, listen, well, listen. If, if you if you're not doing the Dublin one on Friday, we're we're willing to to meet you and get you over here. If you wanted to do it for the weekend, we, we could get you over. Uh, I, I don't know if, if you're if you're, if you're up for it for the weekend if you were going to do it, and and then we could, you know, if, if there's. But even somebody else, so there's other people there. Everybody's capable, more capable, even in fact than what I am. Uh, obviously, yourself has been a spokesman but we'd like someone who's high up in the organisation really but you're saying there's other people in other communities have you got other other people then have you got in mind who would be able to do it then possibly oh I have but like I say I need to check you out before I start giving you information like that out if you don't mind I understand no yeah. no no listen I under, fully understand Willie. Well, you've got my details you, you, you know Brian right. Stockbridge's number you've got Brian's number you, you, Imran yeah. Ahmed as well he's, he's been taking less and less to deal with it but you've got Brian's number then yeah Right, yeah. Uh, I have contact details for her. I need to speak to so just, right, I have no to go problem. here from an under maiden. Okay, care, Listen, I appreciate okay, you right. ringing. Right. All, All the best, right? Speak to you later. It's star time. It's not the way to do it. Kick it. Okay, party people in the house. Pump up the volume. Well, there you go. We're off to Dublin in the green. So keep that under your bowler hat. You heard it there first live and exclusive. He shouldn't have been telling me that. He shouldn't be telling me that. Anyway, dinky do, tickety boo, see you all down in Dublin Friday night. Be there or be square or be a loyalist. 
in the Garda. Shame on you, bastards. Hail, hail. Increase the peace, fight the power. Till 10 to till 10. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock till 10 to till 10. Tommy J. Clark the third on Celtic Community Radio. This was a black ops operation under the guise of Glasgow Radio Online, Tommy Gold, and our good friend Clarence Beeks. Clarence Beeks, best friends with Brian Stockbridge, CEO. The position is there waiting for you. Willie, we want you up the marble staircase. Hail, hail for the marble staircase and Willie Fraser. Catchy Versace. As I say, till 10 to till 10. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 6 o'clock, sack Clyde, back your side, 6 o'clock with me, then on at half 7, the good boys, hail, hail media, back your hail, hail media, God bless, increase the peace, fight the power, come on a Celtic, let's do these Juventus, there you go Willie boy, we'll see you in Dublin tomorrow, God bless.